the MLL menin inhibitors disrupt the protein-protein interaction between the MLL1 protein or KMT2A um, and a scaffolding prote protein called menin. And that interaction is critical for continued expression of the Hox genes um, in leukemia cells. So this small molecule has um, uh, actually a number of small molecules and uh, are now in clinical trials uh, in patients with leukemias with rearrangement of the mixed lineage leukemia gene, which we know drives uh, Hox gene expression, and a couple of other subtypes of AML. And um, it's very early, um, just a number of patients have been reported on, but there have been some complete responses in the two ongoing phase one trials that are currently open. So with minimal toxicity. So I think there's accumulating interest and excitement that this approach may indeed be clinically useful. I, I reiterate, it's still early, but um, the fact that there's minimal toxicity and some pretty impressive responses in the clinic does suggest that um, we're making progress. There are a number of um, biotechnology companies and pharmaceutical companies developing small molecules that disrupt the mlo minute interaction. So I think over the next year or two, we'll see continued development of early phase clinical trials, assessing various potential drugs in patients with generally with relapse disease. Assuming those go well, uh, then you would imagine that this approach or this drug would then move into combination therapies, either for patients with relapse disease, or ultimately the goal for most of these therapies is to move them to, to use in newly diagnosed patients um, with specific subtypes of leukemia. I think that is probably still a few years off. There still needs to be a, a fair amount of testing done, but the, again, there's a, enough interest and excitement that I think that the trials are, that a number of different types of trials are being planned now um, with the assumption that this, this indeed may continue to go forward.